Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com and today I'm going to show you how to connect your own Wi-Fi router to the Verizon 5G home internet gateway. Okay, so the reason you'd want to do this is probably to get a better Wi-Fi uh, strength in your home. So I live in a two-story home and I get uh, good Wi-Fi coverage using the built-in router, but my external uh, ring cameras were getting a weak uh, Wi-Fi signal. So that's why I opted to uh, hook my own Wi-Fi router to the unit. Now, if you live in a, a small apartment, a single bedroom, or even a two bedroom apartment, you can probably just use the onboard Wi-Fi router that comes built into the unit. There's no need to do, to do all this. But if you live in a bigger home, maybe it's several stories, then you might want to hook up your own Wi-Fi router to your 5G gateway. Now to do that, you could simply turn off 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi on the gateway and simply plug in your own router and, and use it that way. That's what I did for several months and it worked fine for all of my regular internet access. But there is an issue uh, that can come up in certain applications. Like for me, when I used my Tableau DVR and tried to view my recordings away from home, it wouldn't let me view those. It wouldn't let me use my Tableau when I was away from home. Uh, and that's because of something called the double NAT issue, and it happens when you plug one router into another. And so for, uh, for a while, I just uh, lived with that. Uh, and there was some confusion on my part because I thought I'd read online that uh, the pass-through mode on the router uh, wasn't working for some people and, and there were problems with it. Well, I now know that it works fine and I'm using it right now and it's working great and I can use my Tableau uh, fine. So the preferred method is to put your uh, Verizon 5G gateway in pass-through mode if you want to plug in an external uh, Wi-Fi router into it. And to do that, it's pretty easy. And it's best to do it with a device that has an ethernet port so that you can plug directly into the unit so if you have a laptop with Ethernet, plug it into the LAN 1 port of the gateway. Then go to the web interface and go to Network LAN and find the section under Advanced, find IP Pass-Through. Then click Configure and turn that on. Now, uh, when you do that, it will shut off Wi-Fi, so make sure uh, you are connected by Ethernet and not by Wi-Fi from the unit itself. And when I did that, it, it took about two minutes to save uh, on my system, so it might take a long time. You'll see a spinner, and that might go for a long time. Don't worry, it's, it is working and it will save. And this procedure applies to the ASK model. If you look under your unit, you'll see the model number either starts with ASK or, or ARC. Uh, ARC also has a setting like this. It might be in a different place. Just look for the uh, pass-through or IP pass-through setting. So once you've done that, you can plug your Wi-Fi router into the LAN 2 port, and it should start working as long as your Wi-Fi router is set up with your uh, Wi-Fi passwords and so forth. So it's pretty simple. It should just work. So just one caveat. Once you have your router uh, working with your gateway, go ahead and unplug your laptop from the LAN 1 port because that port will no longer supply internet access. You can still use it to access the control panel of your uh, gateway, but it's not going to be any good for internet. So unplug your uh, device from that and plug it into your router. And if this video was helpful to you, please like it and subscribe. Thanks a lot.